Welcome. Here at Emory, our physician teams are at the forefront of medical knowledge and research. Every day, they're pioneering new procedures that are changing the face of medical history. And stroke is one of those areas where Emory is leading the way in terms of innovation and treatment. Did you know that about 700,000 Americans suffer a stroke every year? And the vast majority of those people survive. So today, there are around 5 million Americans who are managing their care along with the help of family, friends, and caregivers. The Emory Neuroscience Center is where we offer a unique approach to the diagnosis, treatment, care, and prevention of stroke. The following short presentation by the Emory Neurosciences team is designed to provide you with news you can use to learn more about stroke and its leading forms of treatment. Dr. Michael Cauley. We're luckily, lucky to have two of the, the kind of the fathers in the field, uh, both uh, surgery, surgical with Dr. Barrow and endovascular with Dr. Dion. And then people like myself who are trained in both technologies bring a unique uh, point of view to a particular aneurysm um, where we don't view everything as a nail because all we have is a hammer. We actually have a few tools uh, in our toolbox. Dr. Frank Tong. The best way to evaluate an aneurysm is to do what's called an angiogram. And that's basically a direct catheterization, which starts out like a, like a heart catheterization would. We put a um, local anesthetic in the uh, groin area, and we carefully clean it up with a cleaning solution. We put a small needle in the artery that feeds the leg. And the reason we use that artery is that it's large and it's close to the skin, and it's basically the safest access point. Under x-ray guidance, what we do at that point is put a long, thin plastic tube called a catheter up into the blood vessels that feed the brain and inject them with x-ray dye and take x-ray pictures directly. Dr. Jacques Dion. When we treat a, a, a patient with an aneurysm with endovascular coiling, um, what we do is we bring the patient to a, a very specialized room called an angiography room that has some uh, x-ray cameras that are very uh, very fancy and that give us very very precise images and details about the blood vessels of the brain and we do that by uh, threading a small piece of plastic tubing a catheter through the artery of the leg all the way to the arteries that lead to the brain injecting some x-ray dye and then taking some pictures of the inside of the blood vessel and that will show us the aneurysm where it is the size and uh, all the things that we need to know in order to determine whether we can treat the aneurysm by minimally invasive means or not. Once we have made this determination that an aneurysm can actually be treated by coiling, we will then uh, put the patient to sleep with anesthesia uh, because even though this is a minimally invasive procedure, it's still brain surgery. It's brain surgery from the inside and that requires complete immobility for the patient mm -hmm. and that's why we put patients to sleep. Uh, so after the patient is put to sleep we take uh, some of our specialized tools through the artery again all the way to the arteries of the neck and through those uh, we thread another tiny piece of uh, plastic tubing that goes all the way inside the brain into the aneurysm itself. And then through that piece of plastic tubing, we thread the coils. Coils fill the aneurysm very much uh, like uh, one would fill a pothole in, in the street in front of your house. The analogy with the pothole is actually quite good. Uh, when uh, you have a hole in the street, you can fill it and uh, repair that hole. And with, uh, with aneurysms, we do the same thing. We fill the aneurysm with this coil and this coil causes a disturbance of flow inside the aneurysm and it makes the aneurysm clot. And so there is no more blood flow through the aneurysm and therefore it cannot rupture or bleed. Over the course of days and weeks, this mixture of the metallic coil, which is platinum, uh, along with the, the clot becomes a scar. And the repair process completes itself and uh, then the aneurysm is treated and uh, cannot rupture or bleed anymore. Well, what's in the future for, for, our, for all of us and for patients uh, with um, 
vascular problems in the brain. Some of this future is already here. What we have done here at Emory is create a, an integrated stroke center that is uh, comprised of endovascular surgeons, doctors who treat aneurysms and strokes by minimally invasive therapy, uh, invasive neurosurgeons like Dr. Barrow who open the head and, and do open head surgery, but also neurocritical care doctors, all integrated in the same group to work together and treat these patients uh, in, in a very efficient uh, and uh, safe way. Part of what makes Emory unique, aside from the multidisciplinary approach, is the sheer number of patients that we treat using both surgery and the coiling methods. Um, if you look at the sheer numbers of patients treated with coiling, we are probably amongst the top three or four in the country in terms of patients that we treat. Last year, my partners and I treated approximately 250 aneurysms, both ruptured and unruptured, which, uh, which makes us very prominent nationally. Emory Healthcare offers a unique approach to care for stroke. Please call 404-778-7777 or visit our website, www.emoryhealthcare.org, to learn more about the entire Emory Neurosciences Center. Emory, advancing the possibilities for you.